Welcome to News for Hearing Impaired. I'm Shubhendu Ghosh with my colleague Rajni. Let's begin with the top story. One BSF Jawan martyrs after Pakistan violated ceasefire in Araspura sector in Jammu and Kashmir last night. BSF head constable Sushil Kumar was hit by splinters on neck and shifted to Jammu where he was declared brought dead. Sushil Kumar sustained splinter injuries in upper part of chest while retaliating the Pakistan fire. He was immediately evacuated to hospital with first aid where he unfortunately succumbed to his injuries. According to BSF, Pak troops targeted 13 border outposts and civilian areas along the international border in Jammu using mortar shells and firing small arms. Another BSF Jawan was injured in the firing and is being treated at the government medical college. A local woman was also injured in the firing. Firing is still on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit Mahoba district of Bundelkhand region in Uttar Pradesh today. During his visit, the Prime Minister will address Bundelkhand Parivartan rally in Mahoba. He is also likely to launch a number of development projects during his visit to Mahoba. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will also visit his parliamentary constituency Varanasi today where he will launch a number of projects including an ambitious Urja Ganga gas pipeline project and doubling of railway tracks on a busy route. He will also dedicate to the nation a dual rail engine that runs on both electricity as well as diesel. In another instance of political infighting in Samajwadi Party in Uttar Pradesh, senior leader Ram Gopal Yadav expelled from party membership for six years. Ram Gopal was sacked hours after Shifpal Yadav and three other ministers were sacked from the state cabinet by Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav. Meanwhile, Party Supremo Malayam Singh has convened a meeting of all party leaders today to discuss the current situation in the party. A massive fire has been reported in a scrapyard in Popal. As many as 35 fire tenders have been rushed to the spot to douse the fire. The fire broke out at 2.30 a.m. this morning. The efforts are on to control the fire. However, there are no reports of any loss of lives. Home Minister Rajnath Singh has reached Manama in Bahrain on a three-day visit. He was received by Bahrain's interior minister at the airport, the Home Minister later addressed a gathering of Indian community there. He said that India and Bahrain have been making cultural exchanges for several centuries when Indus Valley civilization and Dilman civilization came in contact. He said that Bahrain not only condemned the terror attacks in Pathan Court and Uri, but also supported India's counter-terror measures. The Home Minister said that terrorism is a global problem and the entire international community has to come together to face the challenges posed by this menace. In international news, at least 13 people have been killed in Southern California after the tour bus collided with the lorry. Over 30 passengers were injured in the mishap. The bus was bound for Los Angeles. The cause of the crash was not yet known. The highway patrol said all westbound lanes of the highway were closed and traffic was being diverted. In hockey, top-ranked India beat Pakistan 3-2 in the 2016 Asian Champions Trophy hockey in Kwantan, Malaysia on Sunday. Ramandeep Singh, Rupinder Pal Singh and Pradeep Moore scored one goal each for India. This victory gives India seven points from three outings. And in cricket, India defeated New Zealand by seven wickets in the third one-day international and take a 2-1 lead in the five-match series at Mohali on Sunday. Opting to bowl, India bowled out New Zealand for 285 in 49.4 overs and chased down the target with 10 balls to spare. Virat Kohli was declared man of the match for his unbeaten 154 runs. And with that, we've come to the close of this bulletin. Namaskar.